Hello guys and today I will tell you how to make the pattern of a pyramid of a star and here is our pattern and <coughs> let's just do so let's see the generalized code okay so here you can see I have included two header files one is iostream and second is conio iostream for cout and stream and conio for get ch and clr scr function and also I have included the main function which is our void main and uh, I have written here CLR SCR for clearing the output screen and one printing line for enter the number of rows so let's initialize the value of n which is our number of rows and let's take two variables temporary variables let one is h and second is f l okay <coughs> now enter the value of rows which is our n and let's initialize the value of l and h by n and h is equals to n so for implementing this you have to see here this this is for n the value of n is equals to 4 where n stands for number of rows so <coughs> here you can clearly see for implementing row and columns i have to use here the two loops one is for i and second one is for j where i stand for print will uh, where i will print the number of rows and j will print the columns okay so implement both the loops in code for int i is equal to 0 i is equal to okay let's take one and i plus plus and also for j and j is equals to 1 and j so for printing this pattern we have to use one relation set for j here you can clearly see the relation between number of rows and number of columns so the maximum number of rows will be equal to 2 into n minus 1 so i have to use here the j loop will be run according to this formula 2 into n minus 1 just because it's depending on the number of rows so if number of rows will be 4 so it will print 2 into 4 is equals to 8 and 8 minus 1 will run 7 so the loop j so the maximum value of j will be defined by this equation so i have to use here this equation 2 into n minus 1 okay remove them and implement the value of j plus plus okay so and also now i have to use the value of l and h so you can clearly see here i have initialized the value of h and l by the value of n which is our 4 and and also after iteration of i I will decrement or increment the value of L and H and uh, it's printing very well. Okay, so <coughs> here L is um, decreasing and H is in increasing. Okay, so I have to use here if condition. Here if condition will define the value of J and you can see here L is equals to lower limit and H is equals to higher limit. L and H are the two barriers where the star in between this. Okay, so let's implement L is J is equals to one. And here I have to use end end operator and J will for N. Okay, <coughs> now if this condition will satisfy compiler will print star either else if it does not happen compiler will print this okay so close this and now format this wise for changing the row we have to use oscillation and decrement the value of L and increment the value of H and uh, what's left and also 
so uh, here I have put all the trees so let's just save this and open this in C++ okay okay so here is our code let's run this run this error okay so I'm not put semicolon here <coughs> okay so let's correct the errors here we use this and uh, here I will use j and h okay let's save this and open this in pen there CPP open and let's run this showing two errors okay it's running so enter the value of number of rows is six you can see the pattern is painting very well okay so let's proceed